Hi, I'm Simon Bartold from www.bartoldbiomechanics.com and this is Langer UK TV. Um, we've been talking about lots of uh, different injuries today and now I want to talk to you about um, orthotics and um, this is a really interesting and I guess somewhat controversial topic because orthotic devices have been around for a long time. They've been a, a mainstay for the podiatry profession for many years. And I suppose my, my perspective on this is that they've, um, they've kind of been endowed with magical properties that, that they may or may not have. Um, and for me, in some ways, this has really diluted what is a really, really useful therapy. So my goal here this morning is to talk to you about some of the differences between orthotic devices, just so that we all understand what we're talking about. And also to give you some idea on the current, current thoughts on, on how they actually work. So if we talk about the different types of orthotic device, uh, you'll often hear people talking about um, a custom-made orthotic device. A custom-made orthotic device is, is usually, but not always, made from a plaster cast of your foot. Um, it can sometimes be made from a laser scan, and either the data from that laser scan or the actual plaster cast are sent off to a laboratory, and they then build from that plaster cast a, a bespoke um, device normally made out of plastic or perhaps carbon fibre and it's made to a prescription based on what the, um, uh, what the uh, uh, prescribing uh, professional uh, desires. There's often a lot of confusion between a full length orthotic and uh, what some people call a three quarter length orthotic. There should be no confusion about that because the functional unit of every orthotic is really three quarters. So basically the orthotic is going to end at the level of the metatarsal heads. Um, in fact, it's going to end about a centimetre behind the, uh, the first MPJ and the fifth MPJ. So the functional unit is, is never going to be full length. Um, the confusion exists because a lot of orthotics have a, a cover on top that goes the full length of the foot, the full length of the shoe, and people assume that that's different. Uh, functionally, there is no difference between uh, what I'd call an orthotic shell and a top cover on top of the orthotic. So that's a, a custom-built orthotic device. Now, there's a lot of discussion about uh, the efficacy of a custom-built orthotic versus what we call a prefab. Um, now, a prefab is something that uh, you, can, you can order um, off the shelf if you like. There are very good and very bad prefabs, um, and, the, and the knack, I suppose, is to find the good one. This is what I would consider a very good um, prefab device. This is um, the device that's uh, built by Langer UK, and this is called uh, a bioorthotic. This particular one is called uh, Bio Advanced. You can see that this does go full, the full length of the shoe, the full length of the foot, but the functional unit ends about here with the contouring of the arch and the cupping of the heel. So this is what we'd call a prefab orthotic device. I particularly like this for a couple of reasons. The contouring of the device is absolutely fantastic. So it's going to have good contact with the arch of the foot, good contact with the plantar surface of the foot. Um, it has a very interesting feature that I haven't seen in, in other prefab devices, and that is it has a softer area here which allows the first rate of plantar flex. Now you'd all be aware that's very, very important. Um, if we don't allow plantar flexion of the first ray, that has uh, some effect on the functioning of the windlass, mecha uh, windlass mechanics. So in other words, it can interfere with normal foot function. And it just, it, by not allowing the, uh, the first rate of plantar flex, you can also get some jamming of the first metatarsophalangeal joint. So that's a fantastic feature in this particular device. Now, the bioorthotics come in a number of different forms. You can see that this is a, uh, uh, a, a more shell-based design. Uh, this is called uh, the Bio uh, Advanced Device and it is designed, um, I suppose, where space is at a premium. You may not have enough room in the shoe to fit the, the, uh, uh, the actual orthotic. It has all the same features as the, shall we call it, the full-length device, um, but it just uh, operates and ends at the level of the metatarsal head, so it gives you a bit more room in the shoe. Uh, this is called the Bio Slimline, and you can see that this is actually designed where shoe space is at a real premium. So perhaps a more fashion shoe, particularly uh, useful in uh, women's um, more fashion shoes. Uh, there's a great demand for uh, still for orthotic devices in that sort of shoe. A lot of women are compelled to wear that sort of sh shoe to work. They still have to have the advantage of an orthotic device. So something like the Bio Slimline is a really great advantage in that case.
So that's a brief snapshot of what an orthotic is and the differences between a custom-built orthotic and, and a prefab. How do they work? I think um, there has been a lot of confusion here and perhaps a lot of misinformation about how an orthotic works. Um, and historically, we've assumed that uh, the orthotic device uh, works by changing an angle, in other words, offering control, which is a word I hate, of pronation or control of a particular movement. Now, I think the current literature doesn't support that concept at all, uh, and I personally don't believe in that concept at all. Um, a lot of people spend a lot of time measuring angles and trying to correct a particular angle with an orthotic device. I think a better way to think of this is to look at the, the tissue stress model, which simply uh, says that every tissue, whether it be ligament, tendon, muscle, bone, has a zone of optimal stress. In other words, it will operate within an envelope of stress, and if you go outside that envelope, then the tissue uh, is stressed and it can break down, and that's when injury occurs. I think what we're trying to do with an orthotic device is, is to change the loading um, or if you like, the kinetic forces through that particular structure to make sure that it stays within that zone of optimal stress. Okay, and that's a really, really important change in thought, change in direction in terms of the way an orthotic works. So rather than saying, okay, we're going to control pronation, and I promise you there's not an orthotic in the world, not a shoe in the world that can control pronation, we're saying we can apply a particular kinetic load that's going to change the stress through a structure and allow it to, uh, to heal of its own accord, and that makes far more sense to me. So I think that's really what, uh, what we're trying to do with the bioorthotic. Um, the research now is telling us that uh, in terms of efficacy, um, it doesn't really matter whether you use an over-the-shelf uh, orthotic device, um, a prefab orthotic device like this, or a cast orthotic device, they both work, and they both work very well bringing that, uh, that structure, that tissue, back into its zone of optimum stress. Um, the reason that you might choose to use a, um, a more structured, um, more prescription-based orthotic device, in other words, perhaps a, a cast orthotic device, is if you're really wanting to make very small, subtle changes. You can still make changes with the bioorthotic. There are the, uh, the system comes with a, a whole lot of add-ons, so it comes with, uh, with an assortment of wedges, uh, arch fills, uh, alterations under the uh, the forefoot that allow you to make uh, quite good changes so you can actually adapt depending on what you wanted to achieve but uh, an, uh, a cast orthotic device I think maybe um, at the pointy end of uh, of what you're trying to achieve allows you to um, I, I suppose be a little bit more individual that said I think these are a fantastic first line option uh, they should be in every everybody's uh, everybody's practice um, I think they're also incredibly useful to titrate a result so you might want to use these as the first line to think about whether you perhaps might want to go to a more custom device in the long term so this is bioorthotic from Langer UK um, I think it's a fantastic new product and we'll certainly be using it in our practice